Today, we're going to take you on a thrilling journey through the breathtaking canyons of Cebu as we explore the activity of canyoneering. Canyoneering is a sport that involves descending into narrow canyons, jumping into natural pools of water, and hiking through the rugged terrain of a canyon. It's a perfect combination of adrenaline-pumping adventure and natural beauty. Our journey begins in the town of Barian, located in the southwestern part of Cebu. This is where the famous Kawasan Falls is located. So come and join us on this thrilling journey through the canyons of Cebu. Before we begin the canyoneering adventure, we were advised to read and sign a waiver and register our names. After signing the waiver, we were provided with all the necessary gear, including a life vest and helmet. Alright, so I think we have all geared up and ready to go, right? So where are we going first, sir? Uh, first, we're going to the at the entrance. Entrance of yeah, the for the. Register your name. Uh huh. Be brief and then start walking if you want. All right. For the 45 minutes walk until you reach the first jump, there is an uh, easy way to go in there. Mm -hmm. It's the zip line. But okay, it costs exactly. 500 each of you. Mm -hmm. For one kilometer zip line, you have to walk for less, uh, less than 10 minutes only. Then start the jumping. Okay, sounds good. Give it a go. to the entrance where we received a safety briefing. After that, we took a scenic ride through the mountains to reach the zip line. Our journey to the canyons of Cebu doesn't just involve hiking and jumping, but also a thrilling motorcycle ride and a zip line experience. The motorcycle ride is an adventure in itself as we traverse winding roads that offer stunning views of the mountains and valleys below. The ride is a bit bumpy, but the adrenaline rush is worth it once we reach the zip line.
We began our adventure with a thrilling zip line ride that gave us an adrenaline rush. With the wind rushing past your face and the stunning scenery around you, it's an experience you'll never forget. It's a beautiful world out there. Just don't pass on the day. If you have the will, have a moment to spare. It's a beautiful world out there. It's a beautiful world out there. It's a beautiful world out there And just don't pass on the dead If you have the will and a moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there After the zip line, we embark a 10-minute hike to the starting point of the canyoneering adventure. The hike takes us through lush green forests, giving us a glimpse of the natural beauty of Cebu. If you're given the choice between a group or a private tour, we highly recommend going for the latter. With a private tour, you'll receive individual attention from your guide which means you'll gain so much more from the experience. Not only will your guide ensure that you avoid being stuck waiting to pass while large groups go through, but they'll also suggest the best places to take photos and document your entire trip for you. For the ultimate keepsake, bring along an extra camera or cell phone to hand over to your guide so that they can take videos and pictures of you periodically without interrupting your experience. These are often the most memorable and cherished shots. Canyoneering can be a dangerous sport, so it's important to take precautions to ensure your safety. Make sure to wear the appropriate gear such as helmet, life jacket, and sturdy shoes. You should also bring plenty of water and snacks, and be prepared to hike for several hours. It's also important to hire a guide who is familiar with the canyoneering spot you're visiting. They can help you navigate the canyons and provide you with important safety information. Remember to respect the environment and leave no trace behind. As we descend into the narrow canyons, we jump into natural pools of water and hike through the rock filling. The towering walls of limestone cliffs and crystal clear waters make for a truly unforgettable experience. One of the highlights of canyoneering is the jumps. We leap into natural pools of water below. It's a thrilling experience that will have your heart racing and your adrenaline pumping. As we make our way through the canyon, we also encounter some challenging obstacles such as rocky terrain. But with the help of our experienced guides, we safely navigate our way through the canyon and make it to the final destination.
Stay on this. <laughs> Please be aware that this tour involves navigating through rocky terrain and can be quite challenging. While you should be fine if you're cautious and follow your guide's instructions, it's important to note that if you have any issues with your ankles, knees, or hips, you should carefully consider your participation in this activity. The last thing you want is to experience severe pain made way through the trip that prevents you from con For the next hour, we jump and swam through the canyons marveling at the beauty of our surroundings and feeling the rush of adventure that canyoneering provides. My husband pointed out an issue he faced while jumping into the water wearing a life jacket. He felt like he was getting kicked in the groin with every jump. He believes this was due to the life jacket as he didn't face any such problem while jumping in Shargao without one. I thought I'd share this information with you for your reference. Having a knowledgeable and experienced guide is essential for canyoneering and cannot be emphasized enough. It can truly make or break the entire experience. A good guide can provide invaluable insights and advice, pointing out the safest routes and cautioning against potential hazards. Without a guide, it's easy to misjudge your footing and end up stepping on a loose rock or slippery surface, which could lead to serious injury such as a sprained ankle or worse. Therefore, it's highly recommended to hire a professional guide for a safe an enjoyable canyoneering adventure. the adventure, our guides were always on hand to ensure our safety and provide tips on how to jump and swim through the canyon. Canyoneering adventure in Cebu was an unforgettable experience, full of excitement, beauty, and adventure. We highly recommend it to anyone looking for an exciting outdoor adventure in the Philippines.
before you reach the last jump, there are barbecue stands where you can buy and eat your lunch. So here we are. We ordered a chicken barbecue and hanging rice. We called it Puso in Philippines. Hanging rice or puso in the Philippines is a popular method of cooking rice, especially in the provinces. It's a type of rice that is rough and cooked in a pouch made of woven coconut leaves. It's perfect for pairing with grilled or roasted meat, fish or vegetables. One of the benefits of cooking rice this way is that the woven pouch allows the rice to absorb the flavor of the coconut leaves giving it a unique taste that sets it apart from regular stained rice. It is also very convenient to eat as the pouch doubles as a serving container and can be easily carried around. This is actually our first time trying canyoneering. My husband was excited but I was a bit scared. I was really nervous on my first jump but after that, I started to enjoy it. The water was actually warm but as we approached the last jump, it became really cold. Overall, Canyoneering in Cebu is an adventure that combines the thrill of jumping and hiking with the natural beauty of the canyons and waterfalls. If you like adventure and jumping, you guys will love this. Thank you for watching and we will see you on our next adventure.